What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Porsche Rebuild. I just want to thank everyone for all the new subscribers and all the positive comments on that last video. Really gives me the energy to, to further this build and get going with it. First thing we're going to start with today is get this rear deck lit off, the rear bumper and some of these accessories so we can get down to that engine so we can start getting it pulled out. All right guys, so we've really been pushing on this thing. We got the rear bumper taken off, the tail lights, the valance, and we went ahead and pulled the intake and that top shield off of this engine. So we're getting close to be able to pull this thing out. Let me show you guys a little bit of what we got going on. So I don't know if you can tell, you know, we had this crunch here, but just how solid everything actually is here. For those that wondered, So as you can see, went ahead and got the intake off, that top heat shield, the alternator and fan, and uh, she's a, she's definitely a higher mileage motor, but from my experience, that may help us out with whether or not she's savable. Um, you know, you wear her out a little bit, and she's a little sloppy. That's what's that's what's best for, I guess you could say, for these cars that sit. And uh, four, four of the six intake valves are actually closed, so that's definitely helps us out. Um, it looks like the fuel had a steady drip for a while. Notice there's some gas in the exhaust, so we have some intrusion on this cylinder. Otherwise, the rest look good, but I'm not sure if it's water or fuel. Being it was the the highest one, sorry, my hands are nasty. Being it was the highest one, I'm thinking it's probably fuel intrusion. And uh, so we're getting there. One thing I did notice and uh, gives us another fun obstacle. I don't know if you can tell. See that shock hanging off there? And uh, the exhaust rubbed. So what it appears happened is those wheels were on the front when this thing went to the scrapyard. And she was drugged down the road. <laughs> uh, thankfully, it looks like the only thing that was act actually impacted by that was uh, the exhaust is toast. Um, nothing on the engine got rubbed, nothing on the transmission. Um, but it did rub through those rear sway arms. I guess that's what you call it on this car. And uh, so obviously I'll be looking for a set of those and uh, 
But as far as up underneath there, nothing else got rubbed. So we should be good. And uh, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start getting this engine pulled out. And uh, so we can check it out, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing jacked up so we can get up underneath it and start getting some bolts out. Uh, thankfully, I got one of these left over from one of my old Mercedes. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you, we went ahead and drained the oil before we started pulling this motor out. And shit's dark, but no water. I do smell some gas, which uh, I do believe my, suspens my suspicions of gas ugh, intrusion are correct. But uh, no med metal shavings on the drain plug and uh, some okay looking oil. So I think I think we might be all right, guys. All right guys, so it's the next day. This thing was a little stubborn and it got kind of dark on us. We're gonna get started back on it today. We realized that you actually have to let the shift fork loose to be able to slide this thing off. So we're gonna get going on that today. I didn't know if y'all wanted to meet my two oldest. My little one's not feeling good, but Charlie, Belle, come here. Come here guys. This is Charlie. Charlie, say hi. Hi. And this is Belle. Hi. What do you guys, what do you guys think of Daddy's, Daddy's car? What do you think of these junk cars? Oh, okay. I gotta get more. Oh, okay. What do you think, Charlie? What do you think, Baba? Hi. Hi.
All right, guys. She is dropped out of there. That was what we were lacking, was that throw out bearing fork right there. And uh, So what we're gonna do now is pull the MG out, get this backed up so we can get it on the chain fall and get this motor on the engine stand. hanging on the stand and uh so we can go ahead and start working on it you see it looks like it had a fairly new clutch put in it and the it's got a fairly new pressure plate not long before it was put up um the flywheel's not the not the prettiest they obviously weren't able to take that off so that'll be something we'll have to either get blanched or ground or replaced but uh the thing i want to do here is get these covers pulled off blow this out pull these spark plugs and fill these cylinders with Marvel Mistral so we can let it soak um, just in case there's any rust around those rings or anything we don't damage the cylinders when we go to turn this thing over. Sorry guys, let's see. It actually looks really nice. Cam doesn't look terrible. All right. All right, went ahead and put the cover back on just so we don't get any trash in the engine. I'm gonna blow it out in here so we can get those spark plugs out. Nice. 
can see it. Mm -hmm. I just want to show you guys. Got some build up on that one, but no rust. So that's a really good sign. And again, that one looks really good. This here is the one I was concerned about. This plugs are coming out surprisingly well. It's always scary pulling plugs out of aluminum cylinder heads. And, and that one as well looks really well. So it does not look like this engine has gotten any water in it, so that's a really good sign. That makes me really happy. Again, another plug that looks really good. As far as any kind of water, another plug looks really good. And this is the one that I worried about possibly get some water in it Let's see what we have nope. another plug that looks really good and uh, so I am really happy about that but, uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys with it I'm gonna go ahead and get these cylinders full of marble mystery oil so we can let this thing start soaking for a few days Make sure if when we go to turn this thing over that there that there's no if there's any rust on those rings we don't create any scarring on the cylinder walls. Um, I will tell you I went ahead and put a wrench on this thing. I turned it over a little. I just turned it a little bit and it is free, and so I'm really happy about that. I I think we can revive this thing again. I just want to thank everybody for all the new subscribers and all the positive comments on that last video. It's really helping me keep going on this thing. I also want to thank my wife. I know she puts up with a lot with all this junk and my uh, my amazing children that I that really enjoy all this with me as well. I do want to thank my father. That's the fellow that's been helping me out. He's kind of shy, so doesn't really want to talk on camera yet. And uh, but he comes over and helps me with all these these projects and, and ratty cars. And be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see more on this build. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week.